I thought that, uh, you know, it's, it's strange, but we, we really played well, except for the, you know, just the bad turnovers. And I'm not talking about tr- turnovers that were caused by pressure. I'm talking about just turnovers in transition where Caleb just throws the ball to the other team or loses the ball. And you can't play when you get an 8 or 10 point lead and you work through it and then just give back points. You can't do that. And it's just like with four minutes to go, even though that pass was there, Trevor just should have kept the ball. We're up 10. You run 30 seconds off the clock. The game isn't an issue. As he did throw it, Tyler tried to catch it with one hand, same as BJ did on a long pass. And they're young players, but you learn in about ninth grade, you catch the ball with two hands. And if you haven't learned that by this time, you either can't learn it, which is a big problem, because we're not talking about running play X, Y, into Z. We're talking about you have to catch the ball. And if you can't catch the ball, we can't play. We can't win. Those are just two examples, but there's there's more. But you can't play against a good team. We spent more time this week on a scouting report than we have because obviously we had a whole week. We knew what their strengths were. We identified three as being the one guy that we don't want to shoot. We identified two lob pass plays that they run, and we worked on that for three days. The guy that we didn't want to shoot had 15 points at halftime. And the lob play worked three times in a row that we worked on for three days. So, again, yeah, okay, maybe we're young, all right, maybe. But you, when you work on something like that, you have to be prepared to play against it. You should be prepared to play against it. And then the second half, we guarded three. He had five points, and three of them came on a bad foul where you just... Late getting there, you just don't foul in that situation. If he makes it, he makes it. He hasn't made a three in the second half, so let's see. But they didn't get a lob till right at the end in the second half after they got three right in the first five or six minutes of the game. So those are mistakes and things that you can't make uh, and win. You can't do it. Brock made a good post move at the end and, and, and made that. That's a, that's a great play. They did a good job of pressuring our guards so we couldn't get the ball to Rock. But that also opened it up for Trevor and for Caleb to get to the basket. And, uh, you know, Trevor played the way he has to play. He was a player. He wasn't a shooter. He got to the basket. He drove. He made plays. And that's a huge, huge thing for us. If, uh, you know, Trevor Cooney's a very good player and he's proven himself. And, uh, you know, he, he doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but he hasn't got to prove anything to me. He's already done that. But today he showed again that he can do other things. You can't do that every game. They're pressuring so hard, and they're playing rock so hard, there's really good open, good gaps there. And they're so helping so much that all Tyler had to do was just make sure you go to the boards. And he's... He's it's 11 offensive rebounds because they're worried about Rock. And, you know, Chris is playing 6'10", or like 6'4". He's playing at the foul line. And uh, he's got to be helpful down low for us, and that's where he can be effective, and that's where he can help us. But, uh, you know, Caleb's made some really good player plays today, and uh, but he can't. You know, he can't make those unforced ones. Some, a couple of them are traps, and, you know, he turned it over. That's okay. But he can't make the unforced ones that he made. Uh, I thought defensively we were pretty good in the second half. We got some traps, turned them over, uh, got some good opportunities off that. But three or four or five times we ran and got nothing out of it. And, you, you know, you can't do that and be successful. Uh, but, you know, we're learning, I hope. I don't see it, but I hope we will learn. Um, there's not that much time left. Uh, nothing's going to happen magically, but I know that I cannot coach catching the basketball at this stage. If, we're, if, we're, if we have to do that and go get the ball, if we have to do those things, 
you know, we, we can't possibly win. All right, that's it. Well, you mentioned the bad, the bad catch by, by Tyler and the bad closeout, but other than that, I mean, he was pretty active. Yeah, but if you lose the game, what does it matter? You can't make those plays. These are Caleb did a lot of good things, and he gave him, I'm saying, 12, 14 points on turnovers. Because his turnovers are right in the open where they're scoring. What do you think the issue is with, with, with Caleb in the, in the turnovers? Is he, is he just not reading the defender? Is the defender dictating to him where he should he, be? He's just not really a point guard yet. He's trying to learn how to play point. It's, it's, taking long, it's going to take a long time, too. Kevin, they don't know my status. He uh, hurt his back was tight. That's all I know. What broke down on the law plays that you guys have been trying to prevent that, that you didn't? It's just what I said. The guards let him split and throw the lob. The center didn't stay back. Combination. Did, did you assume that they were going to assume that Trevor was going to, on the last play, that Trevor, you were going to try to take Trevor in the corner? Did you purposely... You know, have to play going to the post? Or? No, we, we wanted to try to go to Rock. That's what we're trying to do if we could get him the ball. Does it help Trevor when he is able to go to the basket, especially maybe early on? Well, how many points do you have tonight? How many do you have last game? I guess it helped him. I mean, does, it, does it help his confidence when he takes a three? Like, no. no, I don't think so. He looked confident shooting the three tonight. You know, I don't know what he shot, but he made some, four of them, yeah. He looked confident shooting them. The, the, he made a hard one. He hasn't made any hard ones this year. He made a hard one tonight off the screen on the top off Rock. Um, but, he, you know, he hasn't he hasn't made the, the hard ones this year, and he's mostly going to get hard ones. He got a couple good looks, one on the out-of-bounds from Rock. We saw that that, that was there, and... Uh, there's a couple other times he could have gotten the ball, but we're not smart enough to drive in and throw it back to him yet. And we got a lot of, I don't know, I'm, I may have thought this team was, a, whatever I thought, they're not. I can tell you that right now. Are you more discouraged than usual? This team is not anywhere near a good basketball team. Anywhere. And I, I've never said that since I've been here. 39 years. Not that they couldn't be, but they're not. Now, like Chris McCullough's got to realize he's 6'10". What can he do to help us? And he has been, but not tonight. And B.J., if he's going to play, he's got to, you know, if we're up 10 and he's on the weak side and he doesn't get the rebound. And then he fouls the guy and it's a three-point play. Tyler's on the weak side. He's got position. And he pushes the guy. You know, I mean, Rock's got position. He's... Two or three times he's in position, he reaches instead of getting his hands up, and he fouls the guy. I mean, you, you can't do those things and win. We, we, we played over our offensive head today. <laughs> All right? We played over our head offensively, and we're lucky to win. So that tells you all those things that we're doing. You know, Rock, the first play, turns it over and then fouls the guy. Well, he can't do that. He should have learned that at Michigan. He didn't. He did it again. You, At some point in time, you have to learn certain things. And we're not. We're not learning. I mean, catching the ball with two hands, I don't know. I think, I th- I think they teach you that in f- sixth grade. I'm not sure. Someplace, I hope, before now. Someplace. And when we were worried as a coaching staff about that, how can we even think about what we're going to run this play or <laughs> we're going to trap? I mean, we we can't. we got to get better in the fundamental things. Then maybe we can get to some of the next step things. But it's not that this team can't make really good plays. They can make really good plays better than teams that we've had. They're not anywhere near as good. That's it. So it sounds like what you're saying is by now we should have learned a lot. Uh, yeah, I think I said that ten times. Next Next question. About Tyler struggles, but we got 33 minutes. It's just a matter of bodies in terms of getting extended playing time. Tyler, you talked about the things. Well, the problem is he's a four man. When he plays the three, he's too far away. 
Chris got in foul trouble, which I don't want that to happen all the time, and Rock got in foul trouble, so Tyler played at four. That's his position. At the three, he struggles because he tries to do things like that spin move and throw the ball up from wherever he was. You know, if he would play the three and not do those things, then he could even be more effective because now he's going to the boards against a smaller guy. So the issues are when he was, was playing the three. But tonight he played the four for the majority of the game. When he's played the three, he's too far away. He's got to get closer, basically. With five full days to prepare for Villanova, do you take that same approach and look into the Scotty report like you did this past week? Well, we're going to do the same thing we do all the time. We're going to work on everything, and yeah, we will look at the Scotty report. <laughs> yeah, we'll do both. Yeah, we'll do both those things. We had a lot of time last week, and we didn't show much except our our offense was better. I don't know whether that's, I guess that's about, but they give up 96 points to Louisiana Monroe, so I I think you got to take that with a great, we we scored all of 71. (laughs) What's your impression of Villanova? They're a great team. (laughs) Do you feel like they're just not concentrating, they're just not focusing, or what do you think the issue is? No, maybe they can't do it, I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. The good thing about this is we'll find all this stuff out. We don't have to ask these questions. They'll either get better and do these things or they won't. And we'll see it. And I don't have the answer to that. They haven't learned the things they have to learn at this stage. Okay? They haven't. We lost to a Michigan team where we shot decently, and they're not. I don't think they're a very good team. And we made 19 turnovers. That's why we lost. We would have lost this game with 17 turnovers. I mean, we can't win that way. So, bottom line. You know, that's the bottom line. And we, we're not learning to guard the shooters, although we did a better job in the second half on number three. But we didn't learn against St. John's. We let the one guy, two guys who could shoot, and we let them shoot. You know, and it doesn't help when defensively our rule is you play the guy if he's there. It doesn't help when that player says he's, he's out there a long ways. <laughs> that doesn't help. Because he's where you're supposed to be. And they haven't learned that. Do they learn it like tomorrow? Next week? You know, when do they learn it? I don't know. And if they don't learn it, we won't win. You know, there's no... This isn't like the last six years. I mean, we're struggling to win a game. We're going to struggle to win a game, the next, whatever game we play. This team is not going to beat anybody that's any good unless we play better. And that means all 18 games in the ACC. Because I don't care if those teams, somebody thinks, well, they're not that, they're good enough. (laughs) Trust me. We have to play a lot better. We have to get better. And we have to figure that out. And, uh, you know, we'll see if we can. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be overly confident about that right now, because we're not talking about the, some of the difficult things that we would like to try to do. We're trying to get the basic essentials now, and that's not good at this stage. But everybody is in a new position, except Trevor Cooney, and he's being asked to do things he never was asked to do, which he did tonight, and that's good. But a new point guard who really wasn't a point guard that much in high school, he played all over. Uh, you know, Rock is being asked to score, which he never has been. Chris is being asked to rebound and play inside, which he has not been. And we're trying to get all these things. Mike's being asked to play small forward or point. He's really more of a kind of a two, but I'm not sure he's even that, really, to be honest with you. So we got a lot of issues to work through and work out, and we've got to do the fundamental things right every game. To be in the game, not to win. To be in the game, and then we've got to get better to win those games. And right now we're not nowhere, nowhere near that. Not even close. Is that clear? I think that's clear. All right.